At number six, the most feared of all Soviet helicopters. Never smile at the crocodile. MI-24 Hind. Manufacturer, Mill Moscow Helicopter Plant. Type, two-seat gunship helicopter. Power plant, two Klimov TB3-117MT turbo shafts. Principal armament, one Yak-B 12.7mm machine gun. Four 9M-17P Scorpion anti-tank missiles. 20 80mm S8 rockets. Carrying capacity, eight troops. Maximum cruising speed, 185 miles per hour. Nicknamed the Crocodile, the Hind is a cold-blooded predator for the Cold War age. Capable of tearing through tanks, men, and machinery, it's seen battle on three continents and become a symbol of Soviet muscle. If you're up against a Hind, you know, what is it like? You know, they're going to do a whole lot of damage because they, they do look ugly. They look mean. So it, it sends a signal. Delivered to the Russian Army in the 1970s, the Hind was a unique concept in helicopter design, combining two very different roles within a single airframe. They attempted to put two helicopters in one by having an attack helicopter that also had a cabin section which was large enough to carry troops. Now that would be attempting to do what the U.S. Army does today with a combined Apache and Blackhawks. They were trying to do that with one helicopter. The result was a chopper that could carry eight armed troops into battle and then unleash its payload. Air-to-ground missiles, 750 30-millimeter rounds, two 57-millimeter rocket pods. The Hind wasn't so much a crocodile as a pterodactyl with guns and attitude. It looks cruel with its little stub wings and its all those rocket pods and missiles underneath. It's the sort of lurking nightmare of any man who's ever manned a tank in a NATO army. The Heinz bulk gives it significant protection against rifle fire and rocket-propelled grenades. In one combat mission, a Heinz returned safely to its base with 20 bullet holes in its fuselage, rotor blades, and fuel and hydraulic systems. The Hind is a flying armored bathtub. It'll take ridiculous amounts of fire so that really only the rotor and, and part of the, the airframe are still there and it'll still have live soldiers in it. The crocodile's thick skin saved it time and again in Afghanistan, where occupying Russian forces became engaged in a long and bloody war. The Mujahideen nicknamed it the Devil's Chariot and used every weapon available to bring it down. When they failed, they turned to America for help. It did very well in uh, the early stages of the war in Afghanistan. So well that the United States decided that they needed to help counter that and introduce the Stinger missile to the battlefield. They had to bring in the Stinger missile, specifically on the largest covert action program ever run by the CIA because of this helicopter. Hundreds of Heinz were shot down, its heat signature proving to be just one of many Achilles heels. The Hind wasn't equipped with night vision. When fully loaded, it had to make a rolling takeoff. And more significantly, it had a tendency to chop its own tail rotor off when it banked sharply. But the Hind has endured, and operations in Chechnya and around the world have proved that the crocodile still has plenty of bite. There's a just a mean, violent attack helicopter. The MI-24 certainly can carry a lot, hang around a long time, and make life very difficult for, for the enemy. The Hind scores excellent marks for fear factor. It also does well in service length and versatility. Survivability against small arms fire is good, but that heat signature and lack of maneuverability costs it dearly, leaving it sixth in the list.